I'd better give you the straight answer. I think Zionism, the idea of building a state of Jewish farmers on Arab land in the Middle East, is a stupid idea to begin with. I've always thought so. My mother wanted to go and be a Zionist at one point. I tried to talk her out of it. It's been a thing in my family. Um, I think it's a bad idea. I think it's a messianic idea. I think it's a superstitious idea. And I so, think that, so the idea of Israel's right to exist is... Well, the, no, now that it's no, there, no, most no, no play with you. Many states are founded on injustices or foolishness and bad ideas. And boundaries mean, are drawn by all mean, kinds of political... Yeah, it doesn't mean that anyone can just come and evict or destroy them. And I, I'm, I'm not saying that. But I, I think I'd have to say, so as not to seem shady, yeah. I've always thought it's a silly, messianic, superstitious, nationalist idea, and it's a waste of Judaism. And it guaranteed a quarrel with the Arabs because it meant we're going to take away from you what's most precious, your land, by trying to make Jews into peasants. Already a silly idea. That's not the way to rescue Central European Jewry, make them into yeah. farmers in Palestine. Guaranteed an injustice to the Arabs, which now anyone can see, and is now entering its third, fourth generation. Fourth generation of Palestinians brought up either in exile or a dispossession or under occupation and humiliation. And now we know that something has to be done to address what is part of the original, let's not call it original sin, original misconception of the thing. So I've been writing in favor of the Palestinian homeland all my life, and I, I'm no more, no less in favor of it than I was. Was a recent event. And, and now the Bush administration is in favor of it. It's a matter of principle. And now the Bush administration is in favor of it. Well, yes, they were edging towards it. It's a pity about the timing because they were edging towards it before. I don't want it to look as if they did it as a concession. But it should be a matter of principle. If, the, if Jews born in Brooklyn have a right to a state in Palestine, then Palestinians born in Jerusalem have a right to a state in Palestine. Anyone who doesn't agree with that principle, I think, is, uh, is suspect. I think most people do. They do, but they. But why, in that case, do we have the one and not the other? After all, it's America that pays for all this and arms the Israelis and is, is very much involved in it. If it's a matter of principle, then we should have witnessed to it a bit more forcibly than we did. Yeah.